hey guys and welcome back to my channel and my name is tamara tamara fashion style if this is your first time here thank you for um join, watching my channel and please subscribe and share this channel so that others could learn from it hit that notification bell now today in this video i'm going to show you how to do a a-line skirt from your basic skirt pattern now i'm going to uh, use my basic skirt pattern to do this um a line skirt here as you guys see me have here this is what the a line skirt will look like now get your basic skirt pattern now this is a basic skirt it don't have any seam allowance and as i put said in my video before that i will be using small scale skirt which is half of my body measurement to do this um design for you but the measurement that i'm giving you you can use it on your full scale um pattern so get your basic skirt and now there is two way you can do this you could either sewing this um get a pointed like a awl or a needle and put it at the end of the skirt and you can swing this skirt out to make the a-line but i'm going to show you the easy way how to do it and this is my way how to do it so first what you're going to do you're going to get your pattern and draw around this pattern so we copy in this basic pattern onto a fresh sheet of paper and i'm using a um eight and a half by live um no uh, eight and a half by eight and a half people or eleven and a half something like that i don't really um really remember the size so copy the pattern and trace the um pattern over so i'm tracing the front pattern here so trace this pattern over and now you're going to copy the dart as you see i'm doing here i'm copying the dart of this pattern now we can draw the line straight down but no i want to make sure the line is balanced so i'm going to measure the skewer bottom in and i'm going to divide that measurement in two and then i'm going to draw a straight line down right up to the dart as you see me do here now right on the skewer if it's the front or the back of the skewer or whatever you um copy now we're going to cut um on a fold we're going to cut one piece on a fold so that the front of the skirt now we're going to get the back of the skirt and we're going to copy the back of the skirt the same way as how we copy the front of the skirt now remember to copy all your markings onto the skirt including the dart as you guys see me doing here so when you finish copying the skirt now we're going to do the same thing like what we did to the front copy the dart as you see me doing here and now we're gonna measure the bottom of the skirt well i put the skirt back on the paper because the waist didn't come to it so now we're gonna measure the bottom of the skirt just as how we do the front of the skirt now i draw a green line onto my skirt for balance it you have the so on the back of my pattern and the front i put two i put a green line so when I cut it out, the skirt could balance. So I can see how to balance the skirt. So it could balance on your body. So right the back of the skirt, and we're going to cut two. And remember to mark your notches on the skirt. Center front, center back. Now, for the back of the skirt, we're going to do the same thing as the front. So we're going to cut the front out first. And then we're going to move on to the back. So go ahead. Cut out the front of your skirt as you see I'm doing here. And then we're going to move on to the back of the skirt. And remember the measurement that I'm giving you is for full scale measurement. I'm just using my half scale measurement. So fold the dart and then we're going to cut it out. So you do what best for you. There's many ways in doing this um, A-line skirt. But this is my way of doing my A-line skirt. So I'm going to cut out the back of the skirt. As you see me doing here fold the dart just as we fold the front and then we're gonna continue cutting and as I was saying there is many way in doing a line skirt now this is my way you do things that suit you this work for me and that's how I showing you what to work for me if you follow want to follow my direction no problem you this is what work for me and all my clothes always come out proper right that's why I do the easy method for you guys so draw your line down the same way as the front and now we're going to split this skirt in two right now we're going to cut this skirt cut one side of the dart like you see i'm doing here and we're going to split the two paper in two now you're going to get your um stick glue or whatever you want to stick this down with and now we're going to close this um waist dart 
So let's close this ways there. Like you see I'm doing here, make sure you close it, put it back right at the waist and close it. So you left with the open space. So it's like you send the dart to the hem of the skirt, right? Or to the bottom of the skirt, it's like you send the hem to the bottom. So do the next one just as that, paste it and close the dart so the bottom of the skirt will open. And that's how we get our A-line skirt, right? As I said, there's many versions in doing this skirt, but this is just my version and the easy and quick way of doing an A-line skirt. Now you're going to get a fresh piece of paper. And what we're going to do, if you want, you could just fill in the open space with just a piece of paper. Or you can paste the skirt onto the fresh sheet of paper. And you paste it down and you add your seam allowance around it like you see I'm doing here. So I'm going to paste the whole skirt on this fresh piece of paper. Like you see I'm doing here. I'm going to place that down with my stick glue like that. Make sure the skirt um, lay flat. You don't want no um, air bubble in the skirt or you don't want no in, um, thing, you know, puffing up. So paste the bottom part, the other section of the skirt, the front. Do it the same way on the paper like you see I'm doing here. I'm trying to decide which side to paste the skirt if it's right so as you see i'm doing here i make sure my skirt flat as you see me here now i'm going to get um my um measuring rule which i'm going to add my seam allowance but i don't want this one i will use this one here to add the seam allowance now go ahead and add how much ever seam allowance that suits you it's all up to you how much ever seam allowance that best suits you. Me, I always use a, um, either a 5 8, a half inch, or a 1 centimeter seam allowance. It's all up to you. But on the hem of the skirt, maybe I would use 5 8 all around the skirt. But on the hem of the skirt, I would add 1 and a half inches to 2 inches on the hem of the skirt. But since this is an A line skirt, I'm going to only add one inch because half inch to serge and the other half inch to um hem up so this skirt have a little flare inside so that's why i would only add one inch so go ahead and you add your seam allowance onto the skirt make sure you're meeting the bottom of the skirt as you see i'm doing here and put your seam allowance around this skirt so i'm trying to make this um tutorial very simple for you guys so you guys can understand how to make this simple style from your basic skirt now i don't um cut up my basic skirt i always trace it over as you see i'm doing here and this is mini um half scale pattern i'm using with half of my body measurement as you um, saw me do the video before this one i um, let you know that is a half scale pattern I'm using, but the measurement that I'm giving you is for full scale um, pattern, right? So I'm giving you real measurement. So this is what your skirt look like. Now you're gonna go and you're gonna cut out the front of the skirt here. So cut out the front of the skirt. As you see, I do not remember cut outside the line. Don't cut inside of the line. So take your time and cut this skirt out and see what this skirt look like. So here is the skirt, what it look like. So this is the front and this is the back. Now I turn the skirt um, upside, um, flip the skirt so that I can see if it line up. So now this is what your skirt look like. As you can see, this is what your skirt look Now I get my nacho. Now this nacho I'm using, I get this nacho from um, Amazon. It's a paper nacho. So I'm just notching my um, skirt so that I can line it up properly. So I'm trimming a little piece that I didn't trim off the um, waist. As you see, I do need that extra piece of paper I trim off. So don't get scared. Alright, so now you will put your notches on your skirt so that you can stitch the skirt up properly and it can line up properly. So this is what the skirt looks like. Now measure your length of your zipper. And you're going to put two notches in the back of the skirt. This is for where the zipper will start from. Alright. So here is what the skirt look like. So now what we're going to do. We're going to um, cut out this skirt. So this is the basic um, pattern here. And you can see the basic pattern turn into a 
a line skewer. So I have two sets here, which I draw first, and then I show you how to do this one here. So I have my basic skewer that turned into a a line skewer. So you can take any basic skewer, and you can turn it into any style that you wish. Now, let me tell you, designing, right, is all about ID. Sewing is all about ID. You have to want to know how you want your clothes, how what style you want your clothes in, and how you want your clothes to look. So sewing, as I just say, is all about ID. Designing is all about ID. Now what I'm doing here, we're going to measure this waistband so that we can uh, measure the waist of the skirt so that we can get um, this waistband here. Now I have a little measuring tool here, right, which I picked up on on Amazon as well I'm going to do a review on this tool if you would like me to do a review on this tool I'm going to do a review on this tool for you in my next upcoming video so I pick up this little tool this is a lovely measuring tool that I have here. this do all my measurement for my waist whether it's small scale or big scale this little tool with the red and uh, black handle the red and black measuring it do a wonderful job for me so as I measure my um waist of my skirt i'm gonna mark the measurement on the skirt that i have you know i'm going to take the same little measuring tool this is a wonderful tool and i will measure this front of the skirt waist to see how much i get and i'm going to write it onto the skirt now i'm going to review this um little gadget i have here for you in my upcoming video so this is how we gonna make this um waistband now now you're gonna grab a fresh piece of um paper from your um paper stack that you have and my paper that i am using i'm going to use is um a 17 11 and a half by 17 and a half paper so is this i must really get the full measurement of this paper and give you guys i just seen it from my head i think is that but it's them printing sheet so i'm gonna get uh, my ruler and i'm just gonna draw a guideline so what you see me doing here is drawing a guideline this is just a guideline for the waistband now you measure your two waistband you measure the front and you measure the back now remember this is just a half of the waistband so what we're gonna do here we're gonna draw a line right across this paper that we have here and we're gonna put our waistband onto this skirt which I will show you how to do so the first section of the waistband is the back of the waistband so we're gonna grab the back of the skirt and with the measurement that we measure with the little tool on from the waistband we're going to put it from the line that I drew to the length of the um, waistband. So the back of the waistband, the half back, is what we're doing first. So how much ever you get on your pattern, the half, measure the amount here. Now from that marking, we're going to measure the front of the waistband. So this is, I'm putting the, I put the back, now I'm going to put the front of the waistband. Next from that other marking, I'm going to add the other half front of the waistband so the front going in the middle of the paper so now from that last mark i'm going to measure the other half back of the waistband so i'm going to get my full waistband when i cut this um pattern out now for the waistband i'm going to measure like two inches it depends on how wide you want your waistband. You can make your waistband however wide you want it. You can make it 4 inches, 5 inches. You can make the widest waistband. If you want your waist to be like a belt, you can make the widest waistband. But for me, I just need um, like 1.5 to 2 inches um, waistband. Because when I fold it in half, I'm going to get a 1 inch waistband. So make your waistband however wide you want it. Don't let nobody tell you how to make waist. Waistband could make however you want to make it. So I make a 2 inch waistband and now I'm going to put some seam allowance around this waistband. Right? So now grab your um your waistband and you're going to put your seam allowance. Okay? So I mark off my waistband and now I add the seam allowance now. 
the seam allowance is all depend on you it could be a half inch or one inch or quarter inch or whatever now this marking i put in is for the if you are if you want to put a button on your skirt you can put a button on your skirt i'm just showing you how we put the extra so i put um three inches extra for the um button hole right or i am using centimeter i could put um three um centimeter or whichever centimeter i want you can put on whichever you want how long you want your button um extension for me i put three inches you can put one and a half inches it's up to you and now i'm going to add the seam allowance around the um waistband part one as you see me doing here all right so now what i'm going to do i'm going to draw a, um a um green line onto this waistband but let's cut this waistband out first the reason for the green line is to make sure the pattern is balanced so i'm going to cut out this waistband as you guys see me doing here so go ahead and cut out your waistband you can make your waistband however you want it you can make the core the top with a core you can make it square you can make it look designing is how you want to design you can design anything you want you just have to put your mind to it and get the design you desire how you think designing come people id they just come up with an idea this is how they want this dress to be and they just come up sit down and they design the thing to suit some go to fashion school some did not go to fashion school some people born with the skill some people have to go and learn the skills right all for me since i young i always like designing so i go and i learn designing now everybody learn designing different way now i put my spin to my own design and it worked for me i don't have to follow the exact design that i see i can put my spin on it and whatever work for you work for you that's why i'm using mini pattern so that i can get my design how I want it and to see if this is the design that I want to see myself in so that's why I use more half scale pattern to do my design instead of my full scale pattern when the design come out properly then I would use my full scale pattern and do the design onto my full scale pattern that I am doing on the small half scale pattern so now what I am doing here I am notching my waistband so notch your waistband to the front, the back, the side, the hem. Notch it so that it can match up the skirt. So you have this waistband and we have our skirt right here. So this is what our E-line skirt look like. We just move the dart from the waist to the hem. And you get a simple E-line skirt. You can do it differently. E-line skirt, it have many ways of making E-line skirt. But I find this is just a small version, they, they are a simple, easy, and quicker way to come up with an A-line skirt. I don't have to do no big measurement for this, so this why, that's why I show you the easier way to make this A-line skirt. So if you want to follow this way, how I do it, no problem. If you want to follow next way, no problem. But I'm just showing you my easy and simple skill that works best for me and if you find this tutorial helpful share my channel subscribe leave me some comments so that i know that you are watching my channel and that i am making sense to you that's um how i um do my pattern so hit the notification bell and don't forget I will be uploading video often for you now that I get my um, small scale pattern draft out and I will do it so you guys can see properly. So now from this pattern here, since we finish drafting the um, A line skirt, what we're going to do now, we're going to cut out this um, pattern and I will show you how to um, guide you how to sew up this pattern. Now everybody know how to sew a skirt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut out the fabric and I'm going to guide you along where to stitch, how to put on the waistband. I won't show you step by step how to stitch this um, skirt up. 
because everybody know for stitcher skilled by now because i have many video on my website and how on my um channel here how to sew a skirt and how to hem a skirt so you can go and look at other channel or look at my channel right here on how to stitch up a the side of the skirt the waistband and so so i'm just showing you how to do the pattern and i will guide you through how to sew up the skirt so i have a piece of domestic fabric here as you guys can see now i'm not using all this fabric now i use domestic fabric to sketch my design to cut out my design on my half scale pattern so that i can see exactly what my design look like before i put it on my expensive fabric that's why i purchased my half scale mannequin to do my design in half scale to see how it fit now i get a half scale mannequin with my size so it will be half of my size so it would see how um it fit on the mannequin and how it would fit me no i don't need all this um fabric so i'm just cutting a little piece of this domestic fabric to cut out um my design so that i can save some fabric so you're gonna get your domestic fabric and you're gonna cut out um you're gonna cut out this fabric all right so i'm gonna cut out my fabric right here so get your fabric and i'm going to split this fabric down the middle again as well now my table are pretty small so sometimes you might not see everything but i will try my best to see make sure that you get to see at least most of what i am doing i'm going to um try to see if i get a bigger table because my sewing room are very small so i'm trying to work on a larger space to see if i can do um full video for you guys and show you what it look like my table very small that's why i choose to do the half scale pattern for you guys so you guys can see exactly what this pattern look like now i'm gonna fold my fabric and i'm going to lay the front of my pattern which i'm going to cut it on the fold i'm going to lay the front and i'm going to cut it on the fold as you see me doing here i don't want to waste any fabric so i am cutting this fabric on a fold so i won't waste any fabric as you guys see me doing here all right so make sure your fabric line up properly so that you won't waste any fabric so i try to save as much fabric as possible i remember i have to do my design so i don't want to be running and buy fabric every minute so i take a um, little weight and i um put it onto the pattern to hold it down onto the fabric and now i'm going to cut out this um fabric the pattern i'm going to cut out around the skirt i'm going to cut out the skirt as you guys see me you know spit take your time and spin your fabric as i said my table very small so i don't have enough space all right so you may see me pulling and spinning my fabric is just because i don't have enough space now this is not the right way to pull and spin your fabric that's why i always use the whole the pattern and the fabric together before i move it all right so now you're gonna clip make all your notches into your skirt make the notches then so that you can put this skirt together so that when you finish your skirt would balance up properly so this is the front of the skirt so this is what the skirt look like so you see it's a a-line skirt that we transfer the dart from the waist to the skirt so we cut the front now we will go ahead and what we will do we will cut the back of the skirt so let's go ahead and let's cut um the back of this skirt as well as you see me doing here let's cut the back of this skirt out so i'm gonna fold back my fabric as you see me doing here i'm going to fold back this fabric because the um the fabric as i said i don't want to waste any fabric so i'm going to fold back the fabric and i'm going to cut this fabric 
okay so fold your fabric in half um try not to waste any fabric try not to waste any fabric try to um save as much fabric as possible as you guys um see me doing here try your best to save fabric so organize what i'm is what i'm doing is trying to save a little fabric here so i'm going to bring the fabric down make sure i have enough to cut out the skirt and line it up to the edge of the um, fabric so that I won't waste any fabric and what I'm going to do I'm going to cut this skirt out so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out this skirt just as you guys see me doing here I'm going to cut this skirt out so go ahead and cut out your skirt now I'm just showing you how I use my skirt small scale pattern to cut out and to develop the design that I wish right so this is how I cut out my skirt now this is the back of the skirt now we have two pieces here so hem so put all your notches onto your skirt just as how you see me doing here so not to make sure you notch your skirt properly so now what since you finish um, matching your skirt and cutting out your um, front and your back skirt, what we're gonna do here we're going to cut out the waistband. So let's go ahead and cut out the waistband. I'm gonna put something to hold the pattern down onto the fabric, and I'm gonna cut out the waistband as you guys see me doing here. So go ahead and cut out your waistband. Now I will show you how to, I will now guide you on how to um, stitch this skirt up. Now I wouldn't show you step by step on how to stitch this skirt because I already show you in many video how to um, stitch up this skirt and how, how to stitch a skirt up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to just guide you through. So just look at, my, at me in the video what I'm doing and follow along what I'm doing. So what I'm doing here. I'm going to test this skirt on my half scale mannequin to make sure that the waist fit properly. Once the waist fit, I am good to go with this skirt. So let me show you how it look. So this is what the waist fit and the waist fit perfectly here. So now I'm going to put that back. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the front of the skirt. And then I'll grab the back of the skirt as you see me doing here. And I'm going to lay right side to right side at the two side seam so i'm gonna line it up properly make sure it line up properly as you see me do here and now i'm gonna get my mom fabric marker and i'm gonna mark in all my seam allowance now this fabric marker if you want to see um you want to me to do a review on all the tools that you see me using in my pattern drafting please let me know down below so i can make a video on where I get these tools and how these tools work in for me and where I purchase these tools from. So you can leave the comment down below the video and I will do the review for you on these tools. So I'm going to mark in my seam allowance. So whichever seam allowance you put on your pattern, you're going to mark in this seam allowance right now, right here. So I like to mark all my seam allowance. The reason why is because it would help me to stitch up the um fabric in a proper way and in a, and it will help me to balance my um design so i'm going to draw in my seam allowance right so that this is a stitching line so it gives me a guideline where to stitch so i put my seam allowance on wherever i have to stitch so i'm going to put it on the zipper line as well all right so you can use or whichever seam allowance you want to use on the back of your skirt so i'm gonna dry my seam allowance and then i'm going to put it on the hem as well now how much ever seam allowance you have on the hem you dry it in just as well i am drying in this seam allowance here so continue until you finish so now we gotta mark the zipper for this um thing you're gonna stitch all we mark you stitch go and stitch it at the sewing machine all 
way you put the seam allowance go and stitch now this is the zipper i am marking here and i'm gonna after stitching the two side seam i'm going to stitch from where the zipper will um, start from right down to the bottom of the skirt and leave the where the zipper have to go in open so that we can insert the zipper so after finish stitching your skirt this is what your skirt supposed to look like now i stitch my skirt and i iron my skirt i also overlock the edge of my skirt because remember this is design i'm practicing on and i have to um practice all my design the same way how i would do it onto my um real fabric right so i have to do it the same way so i will just do a quick waistband for you what you see me doing here i'm going to pin my waistband to the skirt now there's many ways in doing waistband now you can do your waistband it's all up to you how you want to finish your waistband you're going to fold the waistband in half and then you pin it to the skirt or you can leave half open and just turn overlock it and turn it down to make it a neat process and next video i'm going to show you how we do a single waistband and we turn it down so after you finish sewing your waistband this is what your waistband should look like so you go to the sewing machine and you sew up all we part the waistband um i have to sew all right so this is what the waistband look like after you finish sewing your waistband onto your sewing machine and then i hem my skirt and i leave the open the zipper part to open we could match your skirt so you can hem you you go ahead hem your skirt do whatever you like is all up to you so i'm gonna try this skirt on now onto my mannequin to see what it look like so i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope i was really able to make it quick and easy and simple for you thank you for watching remember to subscribe remember to leave me comment in the bottom of my video i can respond for you so remember thank you and subscribe to my channel i hope you enjoy this video and i will see you in my next video take care and bye bye have a wonderful day and i'll see you soon